We're broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The insane Colts go up against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Ah? Uh, hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Second down and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL winning it. Oh, that's got to hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. They say that the early one gets the mutant. And he got all of him. Oh, look, he's spitting the plates out. Second and three. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. Gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down in a very lot. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do? Run. If that hit didn't cripple him, it sucks. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question, it was a risky throw and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a 
player who goes down fighting. They might catch him. Oh, you fat loud mutant. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. They used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on screen. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know who's throw in. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they save the deli. Who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And that'll be second down and four. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just pow with the brain scrambler. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of it. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. He could go all the... Yeah, never mind. Yo, seriously, mate, you think you 
go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The ten. Touchdown! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Gotta keep them guessing. First and ten. First down! He hit that line the way up down the bill, sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the top. He's running out of gas now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He's 
leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. And what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. The defender's one speed just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run it. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Pulls out a chainsaw. Oh, <laughs> fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not. I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Third and two. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven.
and that'll bring up third down and seven. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Boom! And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Second smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopping time. And the quarterback, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Nice pick up for six yards. Third and two. The defense Kobe refuses to go down. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more men... The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second and three. Fighting for every yard. He could go all the way. And he scores! If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Some of your own demons at home. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull Trap and Vodka Jello shot day. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten.
And he's off to the races. And like him. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll continues to climb. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Good for 10 yards. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? down and three just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out first down and it's first and ten the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crap. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Looks Whoa. like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and long. <laughs> The nasty dirty trick. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pad, at some point they're going to need to put this rep out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks. Attack the ref. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore.
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Well, like the quarterback said, they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And another interception. This court. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And he just slipped away. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the head. Do something about that ref, you pussies. Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. A great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Threads the needle for a first down. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Tackles. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. It was bloody and not for the meat. The Hexon Oilers got it done today. They win by forfeit. There's not much.
much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Yeah, man, I was cute on you know, that Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...